Well, hello guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Okay, okay. Um, so my mum's in the uh, actively uh, dying stage. Okay, so uh, I've been spending all my time that I can with her. Um, so it's going to be like this now. She stopped eating and drinking. Um, she's not uncomfortable. Okay, she's sleeping a lot, and when she's sleeping, you know, she's uh, pain free. Uh, I believe the confusion starts to go towards the end, and any frustrations um and yeah so just it'll be our last mother's day uh on on sunday but do you know what my husband hadn't got his mum my uh three uh youngest children they ain't got their mum uh so you know anyway i'm gonna have to uh suck it up i mean sometimes i just walk out of there in tears um and i come home and my cats tell me you know and reassure me and then yesterday uh we was chatting and I asked her if she dreams and she said yes and I said do you see your family and she said yes and then I just gently reminded her uh, you know who who was on the other side really there was quite a lot actually um, and the dog as well so yeah um, I don't know it calmed me as well in, in a way okay so I'm getting to hold my mum's hand uh, as uh, the process just takes its toll on her so yeah and i know all of you guys that have gone uh through the same thing if not similar and uh my heart goes out to you um just taking it day by day you know i don't know practice what i preach i should say um but yeah so we're going to be actually interesting doing a reading on that uh about my mom and the process you know because we get it in real time don't we so uh and i'll enjoy using my mum uh, and we're going to get freddie in uh, as well and any of me other uh, family members because i said what happens to my mum when she uh you know was waiting for her on the other side and it came out with the queen of swords reversed and i thought oh my god you know is she going to be angry you know what she get in don't she get let in uh, and then i realized it was my nana so uh her and her mum didn't have a good relationship uh, and my nana had a uh, own uh, problems as well uh, mental health uh, drinking and yeah just all sorts really so uh you know loads of pain and, and baggage all connected so yeah that should be interesting uh, guys uh, let me know if you you know fancy something uh, like that i just thought you know now between now and when she passes uh, to see what's going on and I don't know, you know, well, we could only see, can't we? Anyway, but anyway, <laughs> so thank you for that. But uh, we're going to look at Harry uh, with uh, the stripper. Oh, party girl, you know, I don't know, you know, I, the cynic in me says he's got something to do with this. I mean, really, who keeps a picture of 12 years? You think how many times if you've moved house, you know, and you've packed up your photos, if you've changed your mobile phone and it was saved to there, um, you know, and you do, you upgrade your phones a lot. So I don't know if it's keeping the same SD card uh, for, for 12 years and then to bring it out and then a pair of manky boxer shorts. <sighs> Just... I don't know, and I don't know what she's thinking, if she thinks she's going to get away with it. Uh, let's have a look then. So, um, did Harry have anything, or Megan, have anything to do uh, with getting this story put up for attention? Oh. It's not an outright uh, no. I'm getting uh, news uh, delayed here. News uh, delayed. How does Harry feel about this uh, woman uh, wanting to s sell his pics? Uh, do you know what? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> well, he does remember her, you know. Uh, he does remember her. How do you leave a party and not know that, you, you know, you've lost your underpants? I believe there was a party, but 
you know i i think there's something else you know it looks about nature and we, he, he wants us to feel sorry for him a lot of people are falling for it as well and saying oh this is revenge poor and this is this and it's uh, ex what is it extortion hang on a minute guys get your you know get off your high horse uh, everybody because he went out did harry and exposed that he lost his virginity to a poor girl that didn't even know it was coming okay uh, she was humiliated the position the graphic details okay and then the lack of a uh, gentlemanly ship uh, afterwards so i don't feel sorry for this guy at all you know if you do these things then you, one day you're going to pay the price, you know. Hopefully you'll get away with it. Uh, most of us uh, would. I mean, I ain't had no pics done or all like that. Bloody hell. <gasps> no, I'm not. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but, you know, if you do those kind of things and you're putting them out there, well, when you put them out there, you should, you know, have the sense to say, well, this could uh, come back and uh, haunt me, you know. I don't seem worried at all. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> How does uh, Megan feel uh, about this uh, PR? Yeah, I'm telling you, they're, they're in cahoots. She was probably never at that party. Oh, yes, it's helping their cause, making Harry look like a victim. This is Megan's brain, Megan's construct, Megan's archetype, you know. Um, it's... She does these things. She she's like if you watch uh, the program. So say for for billions, I oh, love him with the ginger hair. Oh my god! Um, my my husband gets real jealous. He says you're only watching it because you fancy it. I'm like, don't be silly. Anyway, but uh, yeah. So oh dear, it's helping the cause. It's helping the cause. It's making Harry look like a, a victim. Uh, you know, you can bet your bottom dollar. Uh, and anyway, it doesn't matter about security because she's thinking it'll help. Well, where was his security uh, on that night in particular that they're going on about? And Meghan and Harry hoping uh, that something like this will help uh, their appeal for security. I'm feeling a uh, loss here. So all the bloody things that they've done. So that we're looking at five stunts in particular. So I know one's the car chase. You've got a couple of stalkers maybe. Um, oh, I don't know, some daft ones. Uh, you know, did somebody come out of an audience and try to talk to Harry or approach him? Uh, you know, so they, they've actually made it worse. Okay, they, they've made things uh, worse. People, when you do something enough times, right, and it's deceitful uh, and scheming and manipulative, you actually get to see a pattern. So then you, if you're correct uh, about what they've been doing or up to, uh, then in the future, you can predict it in the future. Yeah, I bet they're going to do this. I bet they're going to do that. Um, because that's all the behaviour is shown. Yeah, they're trying to, you know, expect a matrix like this uh, as well. This is to, to further uh, the cause. Now, I've, in, in my day, uh, I've been in nightclubs and, you know, if there was a, a, a party, a private party, uh, like loads of, uh, I don't know, wankers really, uh, you know, and, oh, do you want to come for a drink? And, of course, when you're young and daft, you're like, oh, yeah you feel real important you know vip um until somebody eats on you and you think uh is that what it's uh, about but obviously you know people do that so i find it easy to believe that yes uh that you know harry would have said or his mates would have said oh go get some girls you know go find us some uh, girls uh to to bring to the the room or the party so i do believe that is could be true you know Let's have a look. Is it true? You know, was she actually uh, in that hotel with Harry at the time she's saying? No. 
<laughs> oh my god and this is why uh you know i love doing the cards i get an inkling about something um and then well look at that just look at uh, that hidden discussion scheming you know uh trying to uh, influence uh, the royal uh, family you know make them feel upset uh, and that Harry's a victim so the one as well she's doing it from all sides she's doing it from a legal case she's doing it from uh the publicity you know let's all feel sorry for Harry uh that uh, getting the king uh, to feel sorry for Harry uh, that he's such a victim in all this, you know, and that's the only way uh, they can connect is through his uh, victimship uh, as well. I'm sorry, guys, I do not uh, one bit uh, believe this woman. And I also think as well that it will go no further. It will go no further. She obviously knew, uh, you know, that her, her, the law uh as well uh she obviously w she had to come out and display a motive you know so i come out and say oh i want 25 million 1 million 1.5 million whatever 20 pence she when you're blackmailing somebody or extortionate somebody you're not going to do it in uh, front of the public uh, and the police okay i mean this could go seriously wrong Will Harry take any action against this lady? Absolutely not. And do you know what he's going to say? We don't want to draw more attention to it. No, because you've had the headlines. You've got the uh, YouTube creators, uh, all, you know, second size. This is absolute codswallop. Absolutely. It's a scheme. It's a scam. Okay, what's the outcome for, uh, you know, the, the woman? What does she gain out of this? Well, I think she thought she was got uh, fame and notoriety, okay? But in actual fact, she's lost more than uh, she gained, okay? So I uh, wonder if her uh, channel's been shut down, um, you know, Yeah, I think that's it, you know, that's uh, the, what she was uh, about. Okay, I've got uh, electrics going around and uh, an O. Uh. <laughs> electrics going around and an O. Uh. Only fans, isn't it? Only fans. Fans are electric. <gasps> uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I think uh, this ain't going to come to nothing. Apart from she does lose, okay, so now her name's Mud. Uh, now she's uh, going to be labelled falsely uh, a blackmailer. You know, she's really going to uh, take it uh, and get loads of, of stress. I mean, how did, uh, before she did this, okay, how did she feel uh, about what did she think would happen afterwards? she knew okay she absolutely uh knew she knew this you know she was up at night thinking oh am i doing the right thing am i this am i that she's been uh, listening to harry and megan i'm telling you this is uh, a, a plan um you know when uh, you know you're going to do something and you know you're going to get some uh, flack but then you cover your ears because you think well you know i'm going to get paid for it you know i'm going to get big money um and fame and notoriety you know but she was prepared she was uh, prepared she knew she was going to get uh, a, a lot of uh, flack uh, for this So, uh, Megan and Harry hoping uh, the king feels sorry for them. There's no way in. There's no way in. Okay, so um, it's only by actions uh, and situations that Harry and Megan find themselves in. Uh, it's only the media, the speeches, the uh, fluff, uh, the background, 
that's how Harry uh, communicates uh, with the royal family because, like they say, they didn't read his book. They're not interested. You know, they've got bigger uh, fish to fry. I do feel like um, these instances of things coming up where <laughs> they're a victim. I mean, how come uh, it's all right to shift his up, but not his, you know, uh, to reveal his rather than to reveal his? Uh, is Harry hoping this, uh, you know, do, does something for his court case? Not being... So it's probably, it's possibly not to, to get, uh, so it's not to solely on uh, the king, okay, it's not to get his acceptance or uh, approval, it's actually to get ours, it's to, to get ours, you know, and Harry uh, uh, and Meghan will be feeding off this now, you know, let's have a look, how does Harry feel about all the creators uh, and talkers all saying things in his favour? Yeah, look at that. Right where he wants to be with his missus. It's worked. It's paid off, okay? It's paid off. I don't think this will ever be exposed, but we'll ask, okay? Will... Will this be ever be exposed as a sham? Uh, you know, uh, as a, a plan? Uh, will the truth ever come out that it's these two uh, trying, trying to gain public sympathy? Huh, yes, another exposure, another exposure, okay, so yes, uh, I was wrong, that's why I like doing the cards, that's the cards, not me, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's a big fat yes, uh, isn't it, so Ace of Swords, wow, wow, and I also say, within a month, I, I this ain't gonna, um, yeah, I think uh, within uh, a, a month, How will the public, uh, you know, and creators and everybody else, how will they feel uh, about exposing Harry as this is a, another PR stunt? Well, they'll know they've been had and they won't like it, okay? They won't uh, like it because for some reason, you know, um, and I believe it's personal uh, opinion, okay, not professional. Uh, but for some reason, you know, people uh, are saying basically that it's not right, you know, to put Harry out. He, he just fell for it. That's what they're going to be pissed about, you know. Uh, that uh, And they've wrecked any chances uh, of uh, the creators and talk shows and news reporters, you know, talking any different. I mean, it's just a, a disaster. So this is going to be something like a, a fake uh, car chase, you know, where they end up getting uh, caught out, basically, caught out. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, creators and everybody else are going to be well uh, pissed off. Um, I certainly believe, you know, that we need to make Harry look like a victim and this is how you do it, you know. I mean, what's coming next, you know? Yeah, go on, shall we ask? Last card. What is coming next uh, for Harry uh, and Meghan in the scheming, manipulative PR world? Well, you can see it in a, a month, OK? But where PR-wise, uh, there's something going on behind the scenes. Uh, we're meeting people um, in secret. Whatever it is will cause a lot of confusion. But I still get 28 days, you know. So uh, they still could muddy the waters uh, and everything. But I think, uh, you know, uh, people will cotton on uh, quickly. Okay, quickly. Look at that, you know. Oh, I can go back home, Megan. We can go back home. Uh, you know, uh, people love us again. 
People see how happy we are together, you know. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, you brought it all on yourself, Harry. Okay. All right, guys, that's it from me. I'll be back soon with another reading. Bye now. Bye bye.